When it comes to the world of creating motion graphics, one of the things that you're going to be doing most often is creating titles. And when you want to do a creative title, you know, the options can seem overwhelming and quite challenging to pull off. So in this video, I want to break down four very easy, awesome title effects that seem a little bit complex on the outside, but are actually super simple to achieve. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So this tutorial is going to break down some really cool creative titles right here inside of After Effects from a uh, lens flare title to an energy based title to glow titles and also glitch titles. And this tutorial will be going a little bit fast, but it's going to describe every single technique needed to do these titles. And if you want to dive a little bit deeper into each of these techniques, I have individual tutorials dedicated to each of these effects. So you can check our links in the description so you can, you know, watch a longer version of each of those effects. So without wasting more time, let's jump into our tutorial. Let's create something awesome today and it's easy. So let's do it. So in our first title, we're going to start off by creating a lens flare stroke title. All right. So when you have your title in your composition, the first thing that you're going to need to do is right click your layer, go to create and click on create mask from text and you'll see that your title is outlined with mask and that's great and then we'll go up to effect generate and we'll grab stroke all right awesome and then on the bottom here it says paint style set this to reveal on original image and now boom you'll just see one letter outlined but make sure you check on all mask and bam now we have the entire word here and we set our brush size to like four you go a little bit higher if you want once the brush hardness to 100 percent awesome and I'll come here and I'll set the end percent down to zero and we'll add a keyframe for end. And then we'll move forward to say like three seconds and we'll set this back up to 100%. So now we'll have our animation in just like this. But I want each letter to come in at the same time so we can uncheck the stroke subsequently button. I think I said that wrong. Oh well. And now essentially we have the stroke effect created. So this is like a two for one technique. And you know, stroke effect, there's like at least a million tutorials on this. So didn't want to count this but let's go ahead and add our lens flare so we'll go up to layer new solid we'll call it flare and absolutely important to make sure that this layer is black all right cool click ok and for this i'm going to have to use after effects built-in lens flare but if you have video copilot's optical flares which i don't have make sure to use that i don't have it installed so i can resist temptation in these tutorials so i have to use generate lens flare all right and then we can set this to say like a 105 prime which I like the most. We can set down our flare brightness to like 44% and cool. All right, so what we'll do here is we'll go to our outlines layer and we'll hit M on our keyboard for mask path. All right, then we'll copy the mask path. Just click on the word mask path, copy it. Go to the beginning of your timeline, click on your flare layer and open up your effects. Go into the lens flare and where it says flare center, just paste that keyframe data in there. So now we'll have our keyframes in here and we can easily grab the last keyframe, stretch it over like say three seconds because that's how long our stroke was. And we can make these keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And you're going to want to do that with your stroke animation as well. So be sure to hit U on keyboard to bring up that stroke animation. Then we can toggle switch the modes until we set the blend mode, set the blend mode to screen. So now our flare is going to animate with our line. And at the beginning here, we can add a keyframe for flare brightness, uh, move this keyframe forward in time, set the flare brightness down to 0%. Go to the end here. Add a keyframe back in there and move that keyframe forward and set the flare brightness down to 0%. So now that will be animated on with our title and it'll just go away. Now, of course, we probably want to be able to customize this by a little bit. So what we could do here is, first of all, we grab the pen tool and just kind of mask around our you know flare here. Hit FR and keyboard for mask feather and just feather it out. So this way you can get rid of some of those extra uh, flare elements that are going all over the composition. And then you go to effect color correction curves and you can go to a different channel and you can really start to manipulate the colors in each of the channels and create something unique. And just by duplicating this process, you can animate this to every letter that you have for your title. And it looks really awesome. So now we're talking about creating an energy title, which is really awesome because there's basically unlimited possibilities with this effect. All right, so this next technique is super simple. And first things first, we're going to need a free plugin from Video Copilot called Saber. I'll link it in the description, but it's free. We'll go up to Layer, New, Solid, uh, and we'll click OK. And then we'll go to Effect, Video Copilot, and we'll grab Saber. So that's free. And it's the only plugin that I use in my tutorials because, you know, it's a free plugin. I'm not going to use any paid ones. So there it is, Saber. And what we need to do here is go to Customize Core, 
and watch this core type, set it to your text layer, then go to the text layer and set it to uh, your text. So boom, wow. Well, don't worry about it. There's a lot that we can do. Go to the preset drop down menu and you have a ton of presets in here. Um, we can change this to whatever we want. We can just do fire. And one thing you're always going to want to look at is the glow intensity. So you can always lower or raise, or raise that depending on what preset you pick out. Or you can bring down the core size and that will just vary depending on what preset you're using. So, you know, it just really depends on what you pick out. There's just a lot of different looks in here. So you got haze, um, you know, ghost is a cool, unique look. So this is just a quick, you know, plugin that we can use just to help bring, you know, more value to our compositions. And if you want this to be displayed over a background and go to where it says render settings and set the composite settings to transparent. And of course, you can make sure you turn off your title layer as well. That way, it's not going to show up when you make it transparent. And every preset has its own animation with it, so that's really awesome. So if you want to learn more about this effect and how to apply this to like logos, I've done a tutorial this year on it, and you can check that out if you want to learn a little bit more. And before we move on, I want to give a huge shout out to our Motion Graphics Starter Pack. So the Motion Graphics Starter Pack is our template that has hundreds of pre-made compositions ranging from titles, accent motion graphics, and animated backgrounds with its own extension here inside of After Effects. So with our nearly 200 accent motion graphics, I can help enhance this composition really quick by grabbing, say, some accent motion graphics and clicking Apply. And within one click of a button, I've been able to add these detailed accent motion graphics to our composition just to bring more value to it. And on top of that, we have plenty of pre-made titles that you can just bring into any After Effects composition as a template, change it out to titles, the colors, very quickly and helping you save tremendous time on title work. And also while helping you enhance your compositions really quick with our accent motion graphics and with our animated backgrounds. So for those of you that are looking to spice up your work with a simple workflow, the Motion Graphics Starter Pack is for you. And if you do pick it up, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you. In our third title technique, we're going to talk about one of my favorite effects, which is creating a glow based flicker title. All right, so this one's a little bit more specific with creating the actual title. So we'll grab our textile tool and I'll type out our title type out glow and then what I'll do here is I'll select the title and I'll come here to my character window and I'll just click on this swap fill icon and I'll go right to a stroke you might need to click on this no fill color if it's still showing up for fill but you need to have the stroke outline here uh, for this to be effective and if you need to change the stroke size there is a set stroke width you know a parameter right here mine set at four I think that's a good start and one thing to keep in mind that my stroke is white so we'll go to effect perspective and we'll grab drop shadow notice it's not the glow effect <laughs> and what we can do here is change our shadow color to any color that we want to glow so maybe i want this to be orange i'll just select an orange color okay awesome then where it says distance i'll set this down to zero and i'll set the softness up to 20. all right and you can change the direction if you want but i think it's fine then what we'll do is we'll duplicate this effect and then we'll set the softness up to like 80 or so and this will see that we're getting a very slight glow effect going on here. And this is a good, you know, foundation for the glow effect. So then we'll go to effect, stylize, and there it is, glow. And then from here, we can set our glow intensity to like 2.5. And we'll go to glow colors, where it says original colors. So this to A and B colors. And what we'll do is we'll grab the eyedropper tool at color A, and we'll grab that shadow color orange that I created. Then I'll come here and duplicate the glow effect. And I'll increase the glow threshold to like 80%. And then I'll go to the glow radius and we can really set this up to like 135, 140-ish. And then we'll go back up to effect, stylize, and then we'll just apply the glow effect as its base form. And then we just can increase the glow threshold to maybe like 80 to 90%. That'll just add a nice touch to the glow effect there. So now we have a very efficient glow effect on our title. And now I just want to be able to flicker this. Really easy to do it. We'll go ahead and open this up, go to animate, and we'll add opacity. All right, set the opacity down to 0%. Open up a range selector and we can set the offset to like 65% or something until you have just like one letter missing, okay? So we only have the W missing, no problem. Then we'll open up the advanced tab and we can you know check on randomized order, make sure that's set to on so it'll flicker, so it'll flicker different letters. And then we can all click the stopwatch for random seed and we'll type in time asterisk 10. And now we have a flicker glow effect, really nice. And you can change the speed of the animation here by adjusting the uh, expression that we just applied. You, know, you can increase the number or lower the numbers up to you. And if you want to learn more about how to create more of an advanced glow scene, we've recently done a tutorial on that. That link will be 
below and you can add some sparks to that as well so it's pretty cool and our fourth and final technique we're gonna make this tutorial complete without it it just would not be complete you gotta have a glitch title effect and we're gonna talk about how to create a glitch title effect so let's do it all right so for our last technique this technique has really never changed much for me but it's pretty efficient on how to do a great glitch effect so we'll go ahead and keep doing it we'll go to layer new solid and I'll just call it noise I'll go up to effect noise and grain and we'll grab fractal noise we'll set the first from basic to max we'll set the soft linear to a block and then what we'll do is increase the contrast and lower the brightness awesome and then we'll open the transform tab uncheck uniform scaling we increase the scale width, you know just like that we can lower the height you know that's cool then what we'll do is we'll go into the evolution options and we'll all click the stopwatch random seed and we'll type in time asterisk 10 i think that's a good parameter and now we'll have all this animating and we can decrease the brightness or increase the contrast just to play with how many uh, glitches we're going to have here so it's really up to you then what we'll do is we'll grab this layer go up to layer pre-compose and we'll just call it map move all attributes into new composition all right then we'll go to layer new adjustment layer go to effect distort and we'll grab displacement map set that displacement map layer to your map layer and make sure you turn off the map layer and now you can automatically see that we're going to have some glitches in here and you know that is really awesome and if you want we can increase the max horizontal displacement you can keyframe this if you want it's really just up to you how you want to uh, play with this effect and just take this a little bit further what we can do is grab let's say the rectangle tool and we can just like draw out these random lines here you know it doesn't have anything crazy and then what we can do is like trim this layer down to like three frames and we're just random with it right so and then what we can do is just like draw out a few more and just create a new shape layer and then we'll just bring in the endpoint and then shave this down to only be three frames in length and then you can just continue this on for like a minute duplicate it and then you can have it all throughout your composition so just by duplicating this i have these lines on here for now for like two seconds so you know that's cool and then when we're done here what we can do to just enhance this do the rgb effect we'll grab all of our layers pre-compose it call it all and then we'll go up to effect channel and we'll grab shift channels where it says green set the full off where it says blue set the full off we'll duplicate this set off the red to full off and we can set the green to green duplicate this you know instead of turning the green off we we'll go to blue and set this to blue and this will give us a unique look grab the two top layers here toggle switch modes until you see the blend mode set them to screen and then you can simply say grab the top layer and you can get like a unique look here and you can play with the different channels here but that's nice and we'll all click the stopwatch for position for the top layer we'll type in wiggle open privacy 2 comma 20 close parenthesis so you have a multi-layer glitch effect here very simple glitch effect it's just, it's being distorted it you have the extra lines in here and you have the rgb splitting effect so that concludes our after effects tutorial on creating title effects right here instead of after effects so be sure to hit that subscribe button for more post-production tutorials like this nice and easy and of course you can hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the video description and always be creating